Hello everyone, my name is Soulmonger and I'd like to welcome you guys back to the never-ending hot dog with DeMarie and Bentley taking a little snooze but making it look like he's doing work. We see what you're doing and this is the final chapter, the end where we collect either our book or we get ripped to shreds by an evil owl. We've been through everything. The Tide of Terror with Sir Raleigh. The Sunset Snake Eyes with Mudbutt. Vicious Voodoo with Miss Ruby. And if these titles would load quicker, they'd be more epic. And Fire in the Sky with the Panda King. Now, Bentley, where are we going? Okay, partner, this is it. A trip to Clockwork's Lair. To Clockwork's Lair in Mother Russia. Where we will drink much vodka out of the uh, question mark bottles, and we will tangle with the evilest of all evil, Clockwork himself. Da -da 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 -da. We were on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Sly Cooper in the cold heart of hate. No problem, the Marie. There we go. Oh yeah. Whoa! Check out all those mines. Think you can blow them away and clear a safe path for us? Of course I can. Now this is an entrance. Bring on that giant bird brain. We're gonna make him squawk for the last time with the pure power of the cannon. Yes. Oh, I love it. I just love it how in this game you get to just. Demolish everything with these guns. Bingo! My scanners indicate that clockwork is holed up in that owl-shaped tower. First things first, we've got hostile Robo Falcons at 12 o'clock, Sly. Robo Falcons? Where do I get one? These are pretty epic and cool, but we're gonna have to make them go extinct. And what's with bad guys making their What? No! But what's with bad guys making their... Oh, I gotta start from here. I'm gonna meet you guys in a second. Hold on to that thought. In Sounds good, Bentley. Take him out. But I was gonna say, what is with bad guys always making their lair? Just, like, look exactly like themselves. The Robo Falcons are back. Not the Robo Falcons. So cool, yet so evil. I just love how we had the raccoon tail on our antenna in the back of the van. That was pretty awesome. I never noticed that before. I don't think they have that in number two, number three, or number four. So, I wish they would bring that back because I miss it. I didn't even know about it, but I miss it. Some things, you know, what does the old saying go? You don't know what you're missing until it's gone. Or wait, you don't know what, how good you had it until it's gone? I think something along those lines. I want the raccoon tail back. That's all that's important here. All that's important. I don't know, they're kind of just flocking around, they're not really swarming us too much. I take them up pretty easily. They kind of sound like, in pain. They're forced to fly around in a metal body. Of course it's painful. Nice shooting, Sly! Looks like we're in the clear! Oh yeah, yes we are. That cave doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through! to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Yeah, it won't be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then, Murray will have to run over them with the van. Okay, and Murray, remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers. Oh uh, yeah, we got a bunch of new stuff. Murray, there are only a 
119 computers up there, and these fire slugs seem intent on getting to them before us. Oh yeah. The first one to 60 computers wins. Fire slugs always have a thirst for knowledge. Stop it. Stop it, fire slugs. This van, for some reason, can blow stuff up and learn things. It's amazing. Look at this little battering ram I have too. Do, 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 do. And Bentley, or the Murray, I should say, is always driving like Ventura. So he's always hip, he's cool. He's in with the in crowd. He's all righty then. And I think we're beating the slugs, I'm not sure. We need 60 before they get 60, okay, that makes sense. It's a race. It's kind of weird how they can just get it, even though there's more than one, and all learn together. They must have a brain that is connected somehow through, I don't know, alien species or something that we don't know about because, I mean, clearly these are new to this planet and they've come here from a long distance away and they're intelligent beyond our years, being able to run over things or eat them and get knowledge. So we have to destroy them because destroying things we don't know is what's important in life. Not learning from them at all is what's not important. So remember that. If you ever meet an alien, shoot him in the face. It's more important to destroy him than learn from him. And that's Mungry Lesson 101 right there. If you ever come into that situation, make sure you say Mungry sent you. So, we got 10 more. I wonder if every level is going to be like this with the band going to clockwork. Because I do not remember this at all. But if you were to watch any of these episodes, definitely watch the final boss, clockwork, because. That is basically why we have the rest of the game. Nice driving, Murray. Now we have enough data to open the security doors. Just past them is the control room to Clockwork's Death Ray Tower. I think it's time for some Cooper thieving and sabotage. Don't you think, Sly? Oh, I think so. I think so, Bentley. The time is now in a daring rescue. Careful, Sly! Those tiles are booby-trapped! You better get out of there! Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you! But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. Dude, clockwork knows Sly too well, I tell you. Going for the heart. And that's what a hateful person like clockwork does. And that's what I do, jump into the lava. Why, why, and why? Here we go again. Come on, spire jump here, spire jump there. No big deal. There we go. Time to save the girl, get the book, and live life to the fullest. Oh yeah, easy as pie. Where am I going next though? That's the question of the day. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Can't walk along this. Nowhere to jump over that way. What the deuce am I doing? Alright, we're gonna go down, 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 down. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Not really too sure where to go there. Interesting. I'll meet you back at that section. Aha! We have to backtrack for some reason. But now where? Oh, up on the platform. Oh, booyah. Look at these computers. They're running DOS! Or something along a crappy internet connection or operating system. That did not hit me. That did not hit me. Oh, this is going to make it difficult. But not too difficult, I hope. We got the barrel. We can still have a barrel of fun. I think I've said that every time we've had the barrel. I can't resist it. Okay, sweet. How do you stop the alarm? Good gosh! Alright, meet you back again. 
Oh, hey guys. Just hanging out in a barrel. No big deal. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Really? Come on, we can do it. No! I'm in the barrel. Run, 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 run. How? How did that hit me? Please stay. Yes. Oh, I saved the lady. I saved her. Hey, baby. How's it going? Who's your hero now? Ah. Sly Cooper. I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. I don't mind cheese too much. Next time, Bentley comes through. See you all then. Okay, I use the left.